Okay, in this video, we're going to start putting our form together. We're going to use a forums plugin called Simple Press. This is a powerful yet simple plugin to use. So let's go over here and click download. Okay, you should look at your system requirements to make sure that you have what you need in your server so that it will run properly. Now most servers should already have this. Okay, so let's download here. Okay, and you'll see it's downloading. Now once it's done, we're going to go and import that into our site. Okay, so I have it in my folder here, my working folder called forum. So now we go back to our install here. We're going to go into Dashboard. Then we're going to go down to Plugins. And we're going to go Add New. Okay, now what we're going to do is click on Upload up at the top here. Then we're going to choose File. And then we're going to choose Simple Press there. Open. And Install Now. We're going to activate. Okay, now as you see, we have an error here. However, if we just go back here and then we go to plugins, you'll see that it's here now. And we click activate here, it will activate properly. I'm not sure why it does that. But there we go. We now have Simple Press installed. Okay, so now you see over here we have Forum and Install Simple Press. So click on that and then Perform Installation. Okay, so this brings a bunch of stuff in for us. Okay, so you'll see all the things it did here. And then we go to Forum Admin. Okay, now the first thing you should check once you get in here is just roll down a little bit here. And you'll see that we have green check marks or an X. Now what you want to do is make sure that everything is correct here. So this is, for instance, our plugin folder themes folder. So just go down and make sure you got check marks and all of this. So everything there is good. So you know it's going to work. Now if you have a problem, you're going to have to fix that by either putting in the proper folder here and creating it using your FTP program or giving it the proper permissions. If you have some sort of write denied area, you're going to have to create the folder and make sure it has proper permissions. Okay, and you see some announcements up here about some plugins you can install. I'll just click Remove, get rid of that. Okay, so on the left side, you see that we have a menu here, Forums, Options, Components, User Groups, Permissions, Integration. And then Storage, Location, Profiles, Admins, Users, Plugins, Themes, and Toolbox. Okay, so let's just jump right in here. Let's go to Forums. Now, the way we need to construct our forum is to have groups and forums. Groups are your general placeholders for your forums. In other words, a, you create a group to group different forums together. So a group is like a topic. And then you have forums inside your groups and you can have sub forums inside your forums. So the first thing we need to do is create groups. Okay, so let's give it a name here. We'll call it General discussion. You can give it a description here. You, you're allowed to use a custom icon if you want. And you can select one if you want. You can give us a group message here if you like. Now over here, you have members, moderators, and guests. So you can select a permission set. So no access, read only, unlimited 
standard, full, or moderator access. So for guests, let's give them limited access. For members, we'll give them standard access. And for moderators, we'll give them moderator access. Okay, let's create the group. Now we'll go over these permissions uh, in a little bit here. Let's just get the group created. And then let's create one more group. So let's call it fishing. Something all about fishing. Okay, now let's go here. We'll give guests limited access. We'll give members standard access and moderators moderator access. Let's create. Okay, so let's go ahead and add forums in here. So we're going to create a new forum. Okay, so we need to select a group. So let's select general discussion, forum name, we'll say talk about anything. Okay, forum slug, it'll create that by itself. You give it a description here if you want. Okay, now if you want it locked, you can, you see how there's a, shaded little bu bubble here if you click that it'll fill that in and it'll be locked or disabled so this is how you can set these just by clicking on those okay so we can have a custom icon for each of these here however we haven't uploaded any so we're not going to do any of that we can put some keywords in here for seo again there's a special forum message okay and then for the forum we can give the same or different permissions. The group permissions are carried through down to the forums, but we can change it in the forum if we want to change them at forum level. Okay, so let's create the new forum. Okay, so there we are. We have one forum in there. And now let's put one in phishing. Select the group, fishing, and we'll say fly fishing. Okay, and then you can change any of these that you like again, but that's all we're going to have to put in there. Let's create the new forum. And let's put one more in there. Say fishing for beginners. And create the new form. Okay, so there it is. Now you can change the order of these if you like. So if you go over here. See order groups and forms. So if you click on that, you can start dragging things around. So you can drag that to there. You can drag this up here. So you get the idea. You can make these appear in the order that you like. So let's save the changes. Okay, so really it's as simple as that to set up your groups and your forums. Now Let's go talk about permissions here. So let's go, you have permission sets that are by group. Okay, so we have no access. So permissions with no access to any forum features. Access to only view the forum is read only. 
limited permission with access to reply and start topics but with limited features. Standard access, permission with access to reply and start topics and advanced features such as signatures. Full access, permission with standard access features and math question bypass and moderator access. Okay, so you can edit any of these permissions here. And you can add a new one if you like as well. Okay, now let's go to user groups. Let's go to manage user groups. The forum software creates user groups already by itself that that you can just leave as they are. But if you need something that is more flexible, you can create your own user groups. But this is very simple. Guests, of course, are people that are not registered. Members are people that are registered. And moderators are people you've assigned as moderators. So you can assign your users to different roles or different user groups as you see fit. So let's create a new user group. Okay, and let's call that a user group um, special members. And user group description will be people that are like more than others. There's a nice description. Okay, now we don't have any badges set up yet, but you can upload badges if you like. Allow members to join user groups. Now, you can allow members to join user groups. In other words, there are groups that aren't managed by you, or you can assign them. So we're not going to let them join this group. This is going to be somewhere that's going to be assigned, and you can say that it is a moderator. So anybody joining this group will be a moderator. So let's create the group. And there it is there. All right, this video is getting a bit long, so we're going to continue with the setup in our next video.